the first thing we need to do today is find a, a place to pee in the bush away from everybody else. It's been a trip with no stops on the way here. Drank a lot of water. Drank a lot of water today. We're trying to trying to find a spot that doesn't involve going near snakes. It's harder than you might think. <laughs> Off to the caves! <laughs> what do you reckon? Should we go to number one first? I think number one first. I'm gonna do them in like chronological order. Alright, let's go to number one first. 10,000 years ago, the Mount Napier volcano erupted, making it Victoria's youngest volcano and created what we now know as the Viaduct Caves. They're also known as the Grampians Lava Tunnels. Located near Hamilton, within the Mount Napier State Park, in the western region of Victoria, about 300 kilometres west of Melbourne, the caves are somewhat removed from the main Grampian zone, but are still considered part of the area created by volcanic activity across the region. Turning off the main road between Hamilton and Port Ferry, 18 kilometres out of Hamilton, and then travelling along a dirt road for about 4 kilometres, you'll find the car park for the caves. In terms of facilities, there's just the car park with no toilets or water, so come prepared. The Harmons 1 cave is actually a lava tube, and the only cave open to the public to actually enter. It's also home to bentwing bats, who will hibernate in the cave during the winter months, and if you visit the cave, you're asked to remain as quiet as possible to not disturb the bats in their habitat. You can really feel the temperature dropping like as we get closer to the actual cave. So in here, apart from the buzzing of, of flies, you can actually hear quite a lot of dripping and that's the moisture coming through the rock and coming down into the cave. And there's a whole bunch of little puddles around, which is really cool. It's made the, uh, the rocks quite slippery to, to scramble over, but um, that's the reason that there's so much fernery and, and other life growing in here, which is really, really cool. It's actually just also really cool in the cave, like temperature wise, it's actually really nice because it's a super hot day today. At least, 10, 10 at least yeah. Taking a torch into the cave will allow you to explore much further into the caves than we were able to. But if you come at a time where the bats are in there, please don't shine the torch directly at them. much hotter coming back out after being in that nice cool cave. I would like to live in the cave now please. Hello. With Mariah Carey and <laughs> See you next Christmas. <laughs> it's what 30 something degrees today? Nah 27. You reckon? Yeah. Oh it feels hotter than that. Well that's what the weather app said but you can't trust that. Yeah which normally it's better to go on cooler days but this was the coolest day of the next week so here we are. Australia, yo. Australia. Cave number two. The pathways to the viewing platforms at each cave are suitable for all types, including those in prams or wheelchairs. But to scramble down into the caves or venture off the main pathways for different views will require good stability and manoeuvrability and decent footwear, such as hiking boots, to avoid slipping and falling. We're off to the bridge caves. What's that? Caves of the bridge, I imagine. Hmm. Sounds pretty cool. So I've used some of the volcanic lava rock to form a little pathway so you can not get lost in the really long dry grass, which is quite handy. In the local Aboriginal language, bioduct means stone axe or stone tomahawk. And when Mount Napier erupted, also known as Topok, 
It provided a bounty of new stone for tool making. The province was active whilst Aboriginal people were in the region and appears in many Dreamtime stories. Every time the grasses brush on your legs, get a little bit scared that it's something. Yeah, I think it's like something crawling up my leg. <laughs> it's just grass. Same thing happens to me. <laughs> Same thing happens to me. This one is definitely the biggest of the three that we've seen so far. I don't know if there's only three or did you say there might have been four? Uh, no, there's another one that way. Might have been another one that way. So we'll check that out as well. But this one's definitely been the biggest one. Uh, unfortunately, my drone is not struggling. <laughs> The drone's struggling a little bit with the wind at the moment, so I'm a little bit hesitant to, to send it over this one, uh, considering there doesn't appear to be anywhere we can climb down to get it if it goes. We could probably climb over there, but I don't want to do it. It looks like you need to be a, a, a rock climber to get that done. Also, Snake Central, I reckon. The walking track that goes around this cave. So many, 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 many people have taken this this pathway around the top. 